Hello again, everybody. This is Dan Clouser, and welcome back to the Journey of My Mother's Son podcast. Today and I are going to talk about our trek from Pennsylvania to Florida that we made back in the beginning of November. We actually End left of October. Actually, yeah, actually yeah. left October 29th. We left Pennsylvania, right. and uh, you know we always do 95. So this leg, we wanted to switch it up a little bit because we hate driving around Washington D.C. Um, and we came up in April. Um, through the Chesapeake Bay, Bay Bridge Tunnel, um, which was pretty cool. So we wanted to do that again. Um, hadn't really spent any time in Delaware since we've been traveling. So we, we picked out a state park um, just outside of Rehoboth, um, right at the, uh, the inlet um, from the Indian River into the Atlantic Ocean. Um, it was called Delaware National Seashore State Park. Yes. Um, and uh, so we were there that Sunday night mm-hmm. and Monday night. Uh, we left Pennsylvania, it was cold and mm-hmm. rainy. Right. We got to Delaware, it was 80 degrees and sunny. Beautiful, yeah. <laughs> so it worked out perfect um, uh, for sure and really, really nice we state right. park. I, that was like an inlet there, right? Um, it was neat because we were right, both sides of the, of the inlet have state parks. So you have where we were, and then I don't know if the other one was called the Southern one. Yeah, it was just a nor- northern campground and, and the southern, southern campground, but they were both Delaware Seashore um, State Park. So which we was were really right cool. at a be- really neat bridge that was lit up at night. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only thing that I would say is a downfall of that state park is if, if you're there in the summer, um, there is no shade. No, there is not. No shade. Our, our I mean, site was In the fall, perfect, it was beautiful. What we had. Yeah, we were uh, an end and site, it was so we were, it wasn't like we were right next to the, the inlet mouth. But no, because we had... There was the driveway and a, and a sidewalk, sidewalk and fishing we were area. 75 so. feet from the water. Yeah, it was great. Um, it, was. it was. It was really nice. And I wouldn't want to want... Th- I wouldn't have that or want that in the middle of summer no no like i said it would it be hot. really really hot because there is no shade in sight whatsoever um and even on the southern campground i there's from no what shade. i recall there's no there shade, wasn't a but lot they say shade. the north one northern one is better um, yeah i think it's it's newer it's newer and it's not as crowded and in the summer when there, the people have a when there's kids there's a lot of kids at that one so yeah we had a good one yeah it, it was nice um there was uh you and I went on a little <coughs> hike um, the one day in the back at the boat piers. Yeah, um, it was uh, it was pretty cool. Um, there's a restaurant. There's you know it was the end of season, so there's the one night we walked Yuke over to the restaurant area. There was a band playing. Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't go in to have anything to eat. We had already eaten at that point, um, but it looked like a cool spot to to check out. And mm-hmm. it was just a nice little nice little visit. Um, and uh, from there, we we went down to Virginia Beach, uh, across the Bay Bridge Tunnel again, um, going north to south. Um, the and First Landing yep. State Park, which went, was went to First Landing State Park, which we were there back in April. Um, so you know, so we were there before the season really started the f- the first time, and I think right. there we were there three nights. This time we were only there two nights. Um, but again, you're right on the Chesapeake Bay. Yeah. It at, by this time it started to get cold. It was cold. cold, and there was a lot of wind going on, so we really couldn't go out. Very to the, windy. The, the, the on the at the beach side. Yeah, we went out. They have some yeah. bunch of uh, yeah. you know boardwalks going out to the beach, so we had walked yeah. out to all those the one day, but didn't actually walk on to no. the beach. Just it was just so the wind so and windy cold. And, and cold. I had a, a winter uh, beanie on. <laughs> But again, that's a beautiful <coughs> park. Uh, the first mm-hmm. time we were there in the spring, um, across the street from where the campground is, is where all the trails are. And there's some beautiful, mm-hmm. uh, very well maintained trails. We didn't get over there um, in the in the fall when we went right. down. We just walked around the campground because you know, we were only there for two nights. Um, <coughs> and it, uh, but it's a you know that that's one of those one that state parks that we'll you know we'll make it back to occasionally throughout our travels because we really enjoy being there and you can pick your mm-hmm. site so we really like the site we were in back in the spring mm-hmm. we were able to get the same site um, when we were there in the fall as well and you know just great. 
really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. And Very then, relaxing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then uh, from there, we kind of strung together a, a bunch of stays at some really cool uh, harvest hosts. Um, <clears throat> and the, the first one was Morris Farm Market, which was in Barco, North Carolina, um, which is just outside the Outer Banks. We were never right. in that area of the country no. before. Um, and uh, they just had, I mean, it was all, it's, it was getting to off season too. So they did have a big, like, I guess, barn type thing store they had all kinds of things in there yeah um from packaged goods like um pancake mix to things like popcorn and candies and pies and all di different kinds yeah. of things and apples and things you know that's where you got your crepe mix right crepe mix and we got what else did we get we got some apples there yeah um but yeah it was, so neat. it like was nice it harvest was hosts are just such a <coughs> cool spot to <coughs> you know just a different different way to stay different setting you know yeah. just so we're in, in the parking lot overnight it was just a cool little spot yeah. um, it was still cool there i think it was hitting freezing yeah at that night so yeah it was a little tough but we we got through it so yeah, there yeah that was one of those nights where we we probably started the night off with the, the furnace running we didn't want to run the generator but you know you can run the the furnace just on battery power um so we probably ran it for an hour to fall asleep right. and then we woke up in the morning we probably ran it for another hour to take right. the chill off and then we could, we could leave and move on yeah and we got a pretty early start because i think we had about a three three and a half hour mm -hmm. drive um to our next harvest host which was in uh mike's farm Beulahville, north carolina um and yeah sandy said it was the mike's, mike's farm, farm restaurant and restaurant if you ever get out that way please yeah. stop and eat at the restaurant yeah Super, super. Good. We we got there about one o'clock. We didn't expect what we had. Yeah, we, we didn't know. You know, you go into these places and you just don't know for you, sure no, what you're you getting. Know. So, I think we got there about one o'clock because um, it was pretty early. Because I actually, I remember we plugged in the solar panel mm -hmm. um, just to you know, walk around. Batteries they have a little full. animal farm. Yep. there were uh, some donkeys farm. there. They had goats, oh. um, they a couple horses cows. and cows. They're kind of off in the distance. Mm -hmm. A bunch of goats. Um, and they had a big gift shop barn. Really big gift shop um, that <coughs> which was I think kind of featured like all North Carolina right. products, local mm -hmm. products, which was pretty neat. We got some North Carolina barbecue sauce there. They had um, coffees. They had teas. They had like baby a baby section to buy stuff. They had um, pottery. They had all jewelry. They had all different little sections in yeah. there. And it was all decorated for the holidays all at that point too, yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, so it was pretty cool. <coughs> and then <coughs> in the evening, their restaurant start opens at four o'clock and we, we got right. got over there pretty early, not right at four, but probably like 4.30. Right. Um, because in the beginning we weren't gonna go that early and then you realized it was getting full out there in the parking yeah, lot. Yeah, there, there was already a line. Um, <coughs> So I, I was walking Euchre around a little bit and I came back and I was like, you know what, we may want to actually head over there because there's, there's a little bit of a line. So um, it's a family style dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, we went in thinking that we'd be sitting, you know, with like other, with other people. Um, but that yeah. wasn't the case. It was just the two of us. Um, and a table is for six, really. Yeah. So yeah. it was just odd. But most of the people there, I think, at tables were within their family. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't yeah. any like combined seating. And I, I don't mm -hmm. know why, but that's just what we thought yeah. we'd be experiencing. And it there. didn't matter. I mean, no. it didn't matter at all. But no, I mean, they just brought the food but, out in smaller. But yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, so it's a one menu, um, and it was uh, fried you, chicken. Fried chicken, southern fried chicken, yeah. um, pork, pork loin, loin and, and a gravy, gravy. Um, ham biscuits. Ham biscuits, which I never had heard of prior to that, but it's basically a biscuit with a slice of ham. You know, it's kind of like a biscuit ham mm -hmm. sandwich, for lack right. of a better term. And then four vegetables. Um, green beans, corn. Green beans, corn, potatoes, and macaroni and cheese is considered a vegetable in the South. Um, but that was probably the best mm -hmm. The best, well, actually, cheese. best food. The, best <laughs> I mean, the, food. the whole meal was just... It was amazing and then you had your choice of drink you we got we had um we ordered the sweet tea because you know down south that's what they're known for so yeah and i felt obligated to have sweet tea and, in North and Carolina. they bring this picture of it out for two of us <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And, you know, you could have whatever drink. You could switch it, you know, at that point. And you could always have them bring more food out. But for us, what they brought was more than yeah, enough. We, we were very full. And then the was dessert was included. There. It was like three choices of dessert. Yeah, but it, it was it was really, <coughs> really was. good. Earlier in the day, actually, we uh, we stopped. They have a little bakery there, too. We stopped over. I guess they're known for their seven-layer cake. And I guess it was featured in a, I don't know, a magazine. Yeah, some cooking uh, magazine. Yeah. yeah. So, so we, we had, did uh, have that. Tried <coughs> that, but it was... Uh, Excuse me. Um, it, it was a great, it great was. spot. So if you're in in that area, check out Mike's yeah. Farm and Restaurant. It was uh, it okay. was really good. And then the next day, uh, again an early start because we were mm -hmm. um, going to another Harvest Host, which is actually just south of right. of Florence, South Carolina. So we had about a, a four hour um, drive, give mm -hmm. or take. Um, and uh, again, you know, we went in not really knowing what right. to expect. It was uh, LRB Vegetable Farm. Um, and on, on the Harvest Host description, there is, they tell you that there's an option to purchase dinner there as well. Plus which, they had produce. Yeah, which we, we debated about the dinner. You know, we figured we'll probably just go and buy some produce, no big deal. Um, and then the more we talked about it, we're just like, well, we're okay, there, it. let's yeah. just do the, the dinner. And I'm so <laughs> glad we did. Yes, <laughs> this guy, that he cooked the meal. Oh. He ran his whole farm of produce, which he has acres and acres and acres of it. Yeah, I mean. And his family helps him out. You, you had your fully. choice of protein for the meal. Um, right. I'd gotten steak. So I got, got salmon. salmon. You could um, either ha you could have chicken. Or you can do vegetarian. Was there vegetarian, another vegetarian? I thought pork pork chop. A, a pork, pork chop. Um, but we went with again. I went with the steak. Mm -hmm. She went with the the uh, salmon. And he cooks it in and his house. Yeah, and he just goes cooks back it in his in, house. Gives um, a, a really fresh salad with a dressing that he would not give the secret on. Yes, yeah, so and he was the trying to get the recipe that. <laughs> <I> was <laughs> he like, was not you know. giving it up. <laughs> um, and evidently, you know, he learned to cook early through his watching his mom. Yeah, growing and just up, that was one of the best steaks I've ever had. Yeah, um, it was an amazing meal. I don't know what he had it marinated and in. Um, and then she, you know, you can the talk salmon. about the salmon. The I salmon mean. was unbelievable too. But the other, he gave us uh, roasted Brussels sprouts with our meal. The plate was filled with our food, and it was to the point we couldn't finish our starch that he gave us. So we put it in a container and just saved it for the next day. Yeah, it was a, a pasta vegetable mix. It was amazing. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, that that mm. was. Uh, Again, I did not disappoint. It. No, it didn't. <laughs> did not disappoint. Um, and he was another one we found out later. He he lived in Reading too. Yeah, spent some time in Reading and did some restaurant business. But yeah, yeah, really. That's an amazing one too. Yeah, really good spot. So if you if you're an RV or listening, and you're part right. of Harvest Host, definitely, yeah. you know, get LRB Vegetable um, Farm on your on your list to stay. You, mm -hmm. you will not be disappointed at all. Um, and again, we left pretty early, um, not as early Mid as the, maybe about not as early as the 11. family that was staying there with us. I think they left at like four or five in the morning. Yeah. They were driving all the way to Disney from Florence. Um, I think like eleven when we left. Yeah, yeah. I think even a little earlier than that because we had another four-hour drive or so. Right. Um, so then we went to CJ Orchards in Rutledge, yeah. Georgia. Um, first time there as a mm -hmm. peach orchard. Um, got to stay, you know, again, peaches weren't in bloom at this Peach point, it was in the fall. They were, they were both. Um, yeah, I think they did, yeah, then. that's right, they did have a pecan grove they? across the street as well. Um, but, you know, to, you know, RVs parked and you step out and you walk in the 10 feet and then there's, right there's a bunch of peach trees in the, yeah. in the but orchard. But they were done too. I think he said they took a hit with the frost this yeah. year. Yeah, they, they didn't, didn't actually have, a have good any any didn't have much peach or. harvest whatsoever. Yeah. But we had peach um, salsa. Got some peach some salsa there and some pecans. Um, <coughs> peach um, vinaigrette dressing was amazing too. Yeah, yeah, and just just a beautiful setting <coughs> to uh, to stay at for sure. Um, and then didn't have quite as long of a drive that day, um, so we didn't leave super super early. But we were heading to uh, probably our all time favorite. 
harvest oh, host. That's right, we did. We as, hit uh, Lane, orchard. Lane Orchards. Um, probably our favorite and very possibly Uke's favorite as well. <laughs> um, but uh, Lane Orchards is in Ford Valley, Georgia, which is just south of Macon, Georgia, off of I-75. And mm -hmm. this is actually, this stop is actually our third stop in 2023 at Lane Orchard. Right. So it tells you a little bit of how much we like, we like it. We were it. back there in February on our way to Florida. Um, and then again in March on our way from Florida back to Pennsylvania. And now this time on our way um, oh. from Pennsylvania right. back to Florida again. So and they must have taken a hit with our peaches too. They didn't have as much stuff like the things to buy like I thought they would. Yeah. Yeah. Georgia yeah. did get hit hard with the frost um, that, that hurt a lot of the, mm -hmm. the uh, peach harvest uh, across the state. Um, but Lane is just, it's a cool spot. I mean, got my boiled mm -hmm. peanuts. Um, we got some different salsas there. We did get some peach salsa, some mango salsa, some pineapple, pineapple salsa. salsa. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it's uh, it's just a really cool spot. So again, if you're if you're an RVer and you're part of Harvest Host and you haven't been to Lane yet, mm -hmm. definitely recommend you that you, uh, <coughs> you get there. Um, very cool. I mean, they've got a little cafe with, you know, not a huge a menu, lunch, but a lunch menu, yeah, lunch menu, desserts, menu. ice cream, um, right. all that sort it's of stuff. Like a cafe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, again, we, we didn't have to leave super early, um, just cause we were, we were driving all the way to Melbourne at that point, which was about a seven hour drive, but we didn't have to, um, leave super early because we were just going to Cracker Barrel. So there was really no time limit on, on when we had to get there. So we we uh, got into Florida and uh, found a state park on the northern end of, uh, of Florida off of I-75, um, Stephen Foster State Park, and took a little hike there to get you some, some exercise. We also used the dump station and, and filled up our freshwater tank uh, while we were there and uh, ended up being able to connect with my cousin Patty in Orlando. We, we'd reached out to her as we were getting mm -hmm. ready to leave the state park to see if uh, we'd have, grab dinner because we were going right through Orlando to get to Melbourne from uh, from where we were on 75 and had a nice you know couple hour nice visit relaxing. with my cousin. I yes. uh, hadn't seen her in a while um, so that was a lot of fun and um, then from Orlando, headed into to Melbourne, got to the Cracker Barrel. Stayed there, yeah. 10, 10.30, um, stayed there, and then Sandy had some uh, a doctor's appointment the next morning. Squared away. Um, and uh, got that taken care of, and then got to my Aunt Sally's in, in Melbourne. And we'll, uh, we'll be in Melbourne till the 2nd of January, and then mm -hmm. start to head west. Um, doing some book signing tours in uh, Louisiana, Texas, Arizona, um, on our way to, to California. Mm -hmm. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll update you on those travels as they come. Um, but we, we were a little behind in you know, getting updated yeah, on, on some <laughs> of these um, ones that we did in the fall to, to finally arrive in Florida for uh, semi the winter. And we'll, so we'll be heading mm -hmm. out of here right after the first of the year. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll update you on on that. We'll be hitting a lot of places that we've we've been to before in Louisiana and, and Texas, um, and uh, you know, be our first time heading to, to California. So we're looking forward to that, and we'll, we'll kind of go over what that itinerary is on our on our next one that we do together as a, as one of our travel updates. So by the time this goes out, we'll actually be on the road again. Um, January 2nd, heading to Louisiana and Texas, and eventually uh, Arizona and California. Um, so we'll be starting the new year on the move, and we'll, we'll give you updates here. Hopefully we, we won't get as backed up. It, it just seems a lot of times it's like, oh, uh, we got to do a show to update our travel, got to do a show to update our travel, and then a month later we're like, yeah, we definitely got to get that one done. So, um, Anything you want to add, hon, before we sign off? Okay, we'll have a happy holiday and a healthy new year. 
Absolutely. And those out there listening, be sure to check out my other podcasts and blogs at journeymymotherson.com. While you're there, pick up a copy of one of my books. And as always, safe travels. Thank mm-hmm. you.